Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over why I do not recommend CompTIA certifications, right? CompTIA certifications like the A plus Netflix, I think like the IETF plus whatever, <laughs> they have so many certifications, uh, Security X, uh, Pentester plus, like, you know, CompTIA is just a money maker right now for all, for all the newbies, right? So in terms of certifications, I do not recommend any CompTIA certification if you want to get into tech, in my opinion, at all, except you want to get security and you want to get security plus because you can't get the CSSP yet. That's the only reason why. And you're looking for a government contractor position, right? You're trying to be like a, what they call like a DOD, um, WD something, whatever, like you're trying to work for the government, then you would need one of those CompTIA certifications, right? Even though CCNA does a allow you to be in, get, does give you that qualification as well, I believe. So that's the only reason, right? And if you're not looking to work for the government, then you, and then you, why would you even get a CompTIA? So let me, let me give you my arguments. Okay. So I'm, I'm talking about from this, so I'm really talking about the net plus and the A plus and security plus. Okay. Argument number one, they cost more money than the CCNA or really any other certification that I recommend. So they're extremely pricey, right? Extremely, extremely pricey. And in terms of the ROI and the return on investment that you're getting from CompTIA is really bad. I know so many people who say, I'm going to get the A plus net plus security plus, they call it the trifecta and they can't find a job, right? Because they're learning all theory. CompTIA certifications just give you theory. They're not vendor neutral. Sorry, they are vendor neutral, but they're not vendor specific. And guess what? As a network engineer, we're not using vendor neutral stuff where everything's a vendor risk. Comp, we're using Cisco, Juniper, Arista, Alcatel, Nokia, uh, Palo Alto, right? All these sort of platforms, Fortigate, Fortinet, right? All these platforms that we're using, we need to understand how it works in production, how it works while you're on the job, right? And those three certifications are very beginner friendly and don't give you any sort of real world value, in my opinion, right? So you're paying more money and you're not getting the value, right? That's the thing. I'm big on what works and I'm big on what gives you the return on investment, which is I'm assuming, here's the thing, if your goal is just to get certs to put on the wall to like kind of decorate your home, then I would recommend those certifications. But if your goal is to land a job in 2025, then it's going to be um, not a good use of your time, right? And here's the thing. I'm big on what is the highest leverage activity I can do right now that's going to help me get to the goal, which I'm assuming most of the time your guys' goal is to land a job or a higher paying job, right? If that's your goal, the highest leverage activities you can do is not getting a CompTIA certification, right? It's by getting hands-on practice and skill, right? I'm not shilling for Cisco. I don't work for Cisco. I don't even care for Cisco. But the thing about Cisco CCNA is that it gave me hands-on experience that really helped me in my career. When I got the CCNA, I was doing a bunch of packet tracer labs. I was doing a bunch of projects. And that really, on top of what I learned from the CCNA, really gave me a good foundation to become a really good network engineer. And uh, from that, I was able to land a network engineering position. The thing with CompTIA is it's all theory and with this theory, as soon as you get it, you have no on-the-job skills. And it's a bit unfortunate because a lot of people are pushing the CompTIA certs, right? But anyone in the industry knows. I've worked with so many people in the industry who are network engineers, and I have yet to meet a network engineer that I work with that has a CompTIA Net Plus. And that, and that really was kind of shocking, right? Because even when I became a network engineer, like I said, I was only getting advice from my uncle, who was already a network engineer. I wasn't getting advice from you know, random people. But, and he was saying, just get the CCNA, CCNA, CCNA. And I just focused on getting the CCNA. I didn't even know what the CompTIA Net Plus was at the time until like later on until I realized like, what's this? And I'm like, oh, I already have the CCNA. I don't have to think about it. <laughs> but here's the thing, guys. Um, I, I know some of you guys are getting it maybe because you're going through a WGU program and they're offering, you know, um, vouchers on it. Sure. I mean, that's, I guess that's a good reason because you are getting that degree, which has more value than that, those certs. So it kind of makes sense. But like I said, I'm a no-nonsense guy. I'm, I'm trying to give you the real information that actually matters. I'm not, like I said, I don't care for CompTIA. I don't care for Cisco, but I'm telling you what I've seen in the industry is getting those certifications is not the end goal. The end goal is to get a job. So all your time in terms of value, like getting a CompTIA certification from a one to 10 in terms of the rank of value, I would put it at a two. A CCNA, I would put it maybe at a six. Practicing interview questions, a nine. Doing labs, a nine right? Those kind of things. Um, you know, finding someone who's a network engineer and learning from them, a nine. Reaching out to companies and doing interviews for practice, a nine. Those are high leverage activities because those activities directly result in you landing a job. CCNA or, you know, CompTIA certs, really CompTIA certs, I have real beef with them. The value that it brings is not there as of right now, right? I'm huge on ROI. Like I said, if your goal is just to get certs like, like Infinity Stones and capture them um, like for fun, absolutely fine. Go ahead and get those certifications. Ab they're absolutely going to do that for you in terms of uh, building up a, a nice, um, you know, war chest of, of, of certs that you want to have. Skills, personal branding yourself, making, an, you know, making content, talking about networking, teaching. All that stuff is going to 
that, that's like a, in terms of ROI, that has higher ROI than getting a CompTIA certification, in my opinion. And the thing with CompTIA is they're very pricey as well. Like the Security Plus is well over $400. The, uh, you know, I think Network Plus is very expensive as well probably close to that price also and the roi is not going to result in a job and by the way no cert's going to give you a job right I, i've never seen a person get a certification and you know like companies are, are begging to get this person hired right? i've never seen that before so don't assume that's like a lot of people will get get, get it confused where they think the end goal is or another issue is sometimes they'll say let me get the comp ts first before i go to ccn right but my question is there's so much overlap and you're paying more money for two certifications that are going to be redundant if you end up getting the net plus and ccna those are two redundant certifications where the ccna is going to supersede it where the number plus is going to be irrelevant right especially when i i do when i speak with people who do interviews they never ask them about the net plus for networking positions never absolutely never right they never ask it they always ask ccna though surprisingly but net plus never it's kind of strange uh, but people still, I, I mean, maybe they're getting wrong advice or they know something I don't know. And I'm, I'm really curious for people who've gotten the network, network plus or security plus or a plus, um, have you directly gotten an, a network engineering position based off of that with zero experience? I'm curious to see um, if that's the case because I, because I've gotten, you know, a network engineering position with CCNA with no experience. I, I, I've, that's my story. I've done that before, but I'm curious, has there been a person with a network plus only with zero experience getting a network engineering position? I'm curious to see if, if that's the case. Um, and I'm curious to see what your study plan was, because if that works, I would love to kind of maybe have an interview with you and talk with you. Cause I'm like, I, like I said, I'm really big on, does it work or does it not work? And as of right now in 2025, I, I just don't see the value, right? I'm big on value. I'm big on ROI. I'm big on does it work or does it not work in terms of the ultimate goal, which is I'm assuming your ultimate goal is to getting a job, right? So I don't see the value, right? There's there's more certifications that you can get that I recommend, which is the Cisco CCNA. If you want to get into networking, that's the only certification I would recommend as a one and done cert. Don't just get it and that's it. Don't get anything else. But at the same time, while you're getting the CCNA, you should be doing labs. You should be interviewing at companies at network engineering positions. Oh, I'm not qualified yet. I have to get the certification to get the job. You really don't. I've helped so many people get into network engineering who don't have the CCNA, right? It's not a requirement. It's literally not a requirement. As long as you put in the work, you can get in, right? So that's all I wanted to say. So I have beef with CompTIA. I really do. <laughs> but um, hopefully they don't assume you're anything. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, give you advice. Like I said, um, you know, I, I mean, come to, I don't know if they're like a money hungry company or what, but their prices are really crazy. And on top of that, I'm, I'm starting to notice as well that it's, it's starting to turn like the general public are starting to realize that comp to are kind of trash, right? So I've already noticed that a while ago, but I think now, you know, cause I'm, you know, I'm here and there like, you know, on, on the internet and I'm looking at some threads and people are trying to, are starting to realize that they're not really worth it. Like I said, the only benefit is because that DOD clearance, right? Whatever, if you get, and here's the thing, getting security clearance is very difficult anyways. So if that's what you're looking for is to get a security clearance, just know that's extremely difficult anyways. That's even hard. Like, like, <laughs> like here's the thing. Like if you, if you don't have military, if you're not in the military, um, or you don't have the qualifications for a company to really want you to pay for the security clearance, then I mean, just know that it's going to be really hard. Right. Just know that. Right. Like I, I've, I mean, if you're not either like living in an area where there's a base or like you're not in DC or where like these kind of pocket cities in the US that have like a lot of government agencies, then it's going to be difficult to get a DOD clearance anyway. So if, that, if your goal is to get that because of your very low chance of already getting that, it's going to be hard. Right. I'm big on practicality. I'm big on what is the highest percentage chance of you landing a job. Right. And based off my anecdotal evidence and the people that I've helped it becomes it comes from obviously doing labs, doing projects, learning learning what people do on the job and learning how to interview and learning how to market yourself to get interviews. And that's it, right? Good. If that's your ultimate goal is to get a job. So that's where I, where I'm, where, I, where I'm at with CompTIA. I don't recommend them unless, like I said, unless, unless you are trying to collect certifications or you, I was going to say, if you don't know where you want to go, but it's still a waste of time. If you don't know where, where you want to go, I would not even get a certification because why waste my money on that? Um, really, there's no reason besides collecting certs for fun or you are, Serious about getting security clearance of your already low percentage chance of you getting a security clearance and you decide to say, I'm going to get it for fun, right? Uh, but that's how it is. Like I have the CISSP, um, which kind of already covers most of the D uh, DOD clearances, but I have, as of right now, I have no intentions of working for the government. Anyways, I just got it just for fun. Like that was just a more fun certification to get the CISSP. There was no real reason to get it. But yeah, hopefully that makes sense, guys. Thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. If you guys are tra studying for your I don't want to persuade you from, from not doing it. Do what you want to do. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate it. Go in the comment section below if you guys want to have any thoughts on this. Thank you guys so much and peace.